Well, welcome back to another quick coffee and a chat. Just having a thought here. I want to ask you something. So, looking at the conditions of the world and how people feel about Christians and stuff, um, and all the radical things that are going on and all, I feel like the potential for real persecution for our faith is right around the corner. And in thinking about that, I've thought, how would that work here? In other countries, when you go through something like that, I mean, they have to lay down their lives for what they believe in. So how are you gonna how are you gonna do that? You know, I mean, are people willing to do that to risk being killed to ha- own a Bible or to be caught talking about the Lord? Um, I mean, that is the reality of a lot of people's world. You know, they are literally laying their life on the line for their faith in Jesus Christ. And then I look at us here in America, and I listen to things people say. You know, I remember, you know, we used to, when I was coming up, all there was was hard pews. That's what you had to sit on. And then then some churches started putting on, like, a, a little thin foam, foam pad on the seat, and... You know, and and then they started padding the whole pews. And I had family that that's how they made their living was they built church furniture. And so they had to start doing upholstery in time because people wanted the padded pews. Then we did away with the pews altogether and and got the nice cushy chairs. And, you know, and there's just been this transition that we've gone through. Okay. And I can remember back when it was changing. I remember this one old lady in our church. She wasn't going to our church anymore. She, we were at this one Baptist church. Well, there was another Baptist church, the big one, you know, um, down the street. Well, they had pad, padded pews. And so she left our church because why was she going to sit on that hard pew when she could go someplace with a padded pew? And then I can remember other people, like um, later as an adult when we were, uh, we were building a, a church sanctuary and we were talking about what we were going to do for the seating and people you know left and right like well we're not going to keep coming to church here if you put pews in there because we've got to have those those really nice cushy chairs and we had people that actually went took their backside to go shopping to find the cushy <laughs> cushiest chairs we could afford to put in our church because otherwise there wasn't going to be any anybody coming to church and then later on we started putting these little coffee bars into churches and i you know and i knew people that went to church for the coffee bar or they went to this church because they had a professional worship team and ah it's like the spoiled rich kid that I'm not going to shop at that store. They don't carry name brands. Well, I would never do this or I would never do that because, you know, I deserve better. Na- I mean, if I can't have shrimp for breakfast, what's the point? And it's like as Christians, we become like that. Like we've got to have all this cushy stuff and, and oh, don't even get me started. If that sermon goes over 25 minutes, that's ridiculous. Or Oh, this guy down here, he does a 15-minute sermon. I'm going there because I don't need to be sitting there any longer than that. Guys, we are spoiled rotten, and we've made it all about us, our comfort, and our convenience, okay? And it's not supposed to be about that. It's supposed to be how much we love Christ, and what are we willing to risk for Him? How much are we willing to suffer for Him? Just a little something to think about, and yes, this is just a little quickie thought here. It's not even, you know, we're just at about four minutes, and there's a lot of noise in the background because I just threw it on there. But think about that today, will you? What what is your relationship with Jesus? Why do you go to church, and and what are your demands that you've got to have? Because I know, I, I remember listening to this missionary talk from China, and how people were hiding in caves for three months at a time, would not leave the cave, in there memorizing scripture because it was not legal to own a Bible. And if they were ever caught, they would have been shot on sight. Three months in a dark, damp cave, in hiding, eating whatever they could, you know, sneak into them, and memorizing scripture. Whole books of the Bible, whole chapters. And they, I remember, 
the missionary said that he told them that he felt sorry for them for what they were going through. And they said, you feel sorry for us. Don't feel sorry for us. We've got it good. Because, see, it's about Jesus or we wouldn't even be here. It's not about us. We feel bad for you in America where you've got it so easy. You don't even know what it's really about. Think about it. Talk to you later. Love you guys.